Hi guys, welcome to part one of this Angular 7 video tutorial series. Throughout the series we'll be building the application from this tutorial that I posted a little while ago that supports registration and login functionality. In this video we'll be setting up our dev machine on a Mac. This is a fresh Mac virtual machine that I've just set up. The only thing I've done is install Google Chrome, so we'll be starting from scratch. This is an overview of the steps we'll be going through. So first we'll be installing Homebrew which is a package manager for Mac that lets us easily install other things after that. Um, it also installs as part of it uh, Git CLI because it also installs the Xcode command line utilities. Uh, after that we'll install Node and NPM and Visual Studio Code, our code editor. Then we'll uh, download and run the example finished Angular 7 app that we'll be building throughout the series. Uh, then I'll show you how to run and edit the app in VS Code then there's another version of the app that's uh, built with the Angular CLI, so we'll install that and download and run that as well to finish off. Okay, so first thing is to install Homebrew. Now you can find the command for doing that from the Homebrew website. As I said, this is a VPS that I'm running on, so forgive me for it being a little bit laggy sometimes. Okay, so homebrew, we can copy that command there, open up our command prompt, paste it in, enter, it tells you what it's going to install, and so you see the Xcode command line utils uh, tools are there as well, which include the git CLI. Okay, once that's finished installing, you can see that we now have the brew command available as well as the git command. Alright, so the next steps are to install node and npm, which uh, node is used for running the application and npm is the node package manager. So if we run the command brew install node. It's how easy it is to install things with Homebrew. Okay, once that's done, if we run node minus v, we'll see that we have node 11.13 installed. And also if we run npm minus v, they come packaged together, so they're both installed. Alright, the next thing to install is Visual Studio Code, which is the editor that we can use for editing our code. So that uses the command brew cask install Visual Studio Code, I think. Okay, and then we can check that it's installed by running code, which will open up our Visual Studio Code editor. And there we have it. I'll just keep it in the dock down here so it's easy to access. And close it. Okay, on to the next step, which is downloading and running our Angular 7 example app. So let's go back to the tutorial. Scroll down to the link to the GitHub repo. I'll put a link to the tutorial in the video description as well. And if you click the green clone or download button, you can click this button to copy the URL to the GitHub repo. Now create a directory for projects. CD into that. And type git clone paste the URL to the repo and hit enter and cd into the project folder type npm install to install all of the node package dependencies once that's finished type npm start to start the application okay the application's up and running now I'll show you quickly how it works by registering 
a user. And logging in. All right, logged in, that's working. Now I'll also show you how to edit the code quickly in Visual Studio. So I'll open up a new command line. If I type code dot, that'll open up the application in VS Code. You can see it all there. Now navigate back down to, well, navigate down to the home component. And I won't go into the details of the code now. I'll just uh, update the welcome message to include last name. Okay, you can see it's automatically refreshed and shows the first name and the last name. Okay, I'll close that and stop the application. Control C. Finally, we'll install the Angular CLI and then download and run the Angular CLI version of the example. Now, the Angular CLI is a, an NPM package, so you install it by running npm i. I'll install it globally with the minus G flag and at angular slash CLI. And you can test that we have it installed by running ng space v and that'll give you the Angular CLI version that we've got. Okay, next we'll get the Angular CLI version of the code, which is in a different GitHub repo linked to from this tutorial. We'll copy the URL the same way. Back now, command prompt. Let's go back up to the projects directory, type git clone, paste in the URL. And CD into CLI version of the project, and again run npm i to install the package dependencies. Okay, before running it, I'll open up project in VS Code with the code command. Now, Angular CLI projects have a little bit more going on. But the core application is exactly the same. It's in the source app folder here. I'll go back here and start the app by, instead of running npm start, Angular CLI applications are run with the ng serve command. And I think it's the open flag to automatically open it in a browser once it's, open, once it's started. Okay, you can see the application running the same way. I'll go through the same steps of registering and logging in. Okay, I'm logged in. Now I'll show you the same way. You can edit the code. Add the last name to the welcome message. If I save that, you should see it's automatically recompiling and that should automatically refresh the browser as well. And then we see that's worked. Alright, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.